ओके कोलेस्टेटोमा कोलेस्टेटोमा इज द स्किन इन द रॉन्ग प्लेस हेयर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट सम इम्पोर्टेंट थ्योरीज फॉर द ओरिजिन ऑफ द कोलेस्टेटोमा हाउ द स्किन इज प्रेजेंट इन द मिडल ईयर दैट इज टर्न नॉन एज कोलेस्टेटोमा फॉर्मली मिडल ईयर क्लेफ्ट इज लाइन बाई द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ दिथिलीम इन डिफरेंट रीजन For example, if we talk about the inferior and interior part, it is lined by the ciliated glomerular epithelium, cuboidal in the middle part of the, and uh, in the attic part there is a pavement like in the attic part. So there is no skin, uh, so such skin in the middle ear. But in some time, there is a, a wrong place of the skin in the middle that is called scleroderma. So here I will tell you about this. Some important theories. Number one, Whitman. theory whitman theory uh, represents that there is invagination of the tympanic membrane that causes retraction of the pockets of the tympanic membrane just like this you can see this is that attic part of the tympanic membrane this shows the uh, middle ear um, um, apparatus of the ear and when there is invagination of the tympanic membrane here yeah, just like this there is retraction for pocket there is formation of retraction pocket and this retraction causes because this part is the outer part of the uh, tympanic membrane here the outer surface of the tympanic membrane is lined by the stratified squamous epithelium which after invagination form the matrix of the cholesteatoma here this is the outer part and inside it there is lays down the keratin part that is keratin mass so this is the first theory of the cholesteatoma formation so second one theory is the rowdy's theory according to this theory there is basal cell hyperplasia followed by the infection whenever there is infection this cause the uh, cell proliferation through the basal cell hyperplasia and this Uh, basal cells of the uh, germinal layer of the skin proliferate under the influence of the infection and causing the keratinization of the squamous epithelium just like this you can see this is the normal tympanic membrane in the attic part of it under the infection there is proliferation of this uh, uh, skin germinal layer cells and this proliferation may form at the end cholesteatoma next there is the haberman theory according to this there is epithelial invasion how whenever there is a perforation in the tympanic membrane this pre existing perforation causes the epithelium from the meatus or the outer ear drum surface that get grow into the middle ear through this perforated uh, tympanic membrane especially of the marginal type where part of the annulus tympanic has already been destroyed you can see this if we have a perforation in the tympanic membrane the meatus the skin cells from the external ear meatus or the uh, tympanic membrane they get into invade inside the middle ear and here they form uh, to start um, to start the skin cells skin epithelium causing the formation of cholesteatoma then there is the sets theory sets theory uh, give the idea of the metaplasia that is the change of epithelium uh, like other uh, epithelium in most of the cases in respiratory mucosa there is metaplasia so when there is repeated infection in the uh, ear this repeated infection causes a metaplasia or the change of epithelium middle ear mucosa like respiratory mucosa elsewhere undergoes metaplasia due to repeated infections and when there is metaplasia there is transformation of the uh, respective epithelium into the squamous skin epithelium in the middle ear so these are the theories of the formation of or the origin of the cholesteatoma